started it up, easy to use, so much easier to light. Um, and my little gas uh, button on the Uni 3, so that's good. It seems to be a nice line of gas coming out the back there. Just heating it up, now ready for the cook. It says on the instructions it takes 15 minutes to heat up. So, um, I'll be back in 15 minutes. So the pizza's been made, it's ready to go into the oven. I'm gonna just check the temperature of the stone. Um, and Uni in the leaflet said they want, they recommend it to be 400 in the middle. So it's 439 at the back, 210 at the front. And it's three, about 385 in the middle. I'm just gonna wait a little bit for that to go up a bit more. It's been about, it's been about 12 minutes. I'm just gonna give it a few more minutes. I didn't know whether the cover would be cool. Um, the cover's boiling. So that doesn't stay cool, just if you, if you weren't sure. I thought, I thought it might stay cool, but it's, uh, no, that's definitely boiling hot. As I'm waiting, I'll just show you the pros out as well. Show the difference in size. It's been about a minute and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna, that's 400 now, so I'll go with that. Let's get my coffee out the way. Try and get used to the size of the oven. Um, it does feel a bit smaller than the only three because I'm having more of a wiggle issue there, turning it there. So it does feel a bit narrower. I might be wrong. I'll have to measure them up and see. So I'm just checking the base. Oh, it's got, oh my God, the dough has got an imprint of uni in it. I don't think that's ever happened before. Oops. I do like the gas flame at the back. It's, it's really fine and not located in just one area. And uh, yeah, it gives a lovely even cook. Much, very good. Oh, I can see I'm scratching the 
No, I'm not. I thought I was scratching that bit there with my peel, but let's check on this. I can smell burning. So, um, need a little bit more there on the corner. Just a little bit and then we're done. First time cook with a coda, and I'm very good. So I cooked this pizza at 400 degrees in the oven. The base is not as warm as I, as not as cooked as I would like it to be. I mean, it is cooked, but it's not, it needs to be hotter. So I'm gonna make it a bit hotter than 400 in the middle. I'll probably do about 420, see how that goes. But the crust is cooked really well. I love the gas on the back of the oven, the way that it evenly is evenly distributed. Just makes it a lot easier to cook with, and it's it's got a nice control on the back, and the ignite button works, and it's it's yeah, it was really easy to set up. So I'm just going to try this. Show you the base. Let's cook the top well. I like the way that it's just touched the top of the, uh, the ham there without burning it. It's cooked the cheese very well without burning it. There's the base again. I can't find the bit where it had the logo singed into the base. Where's that gone? I think that's gone. It was there, I did see it. Yeah, so it's, it's cooked the toppings very well. Very pleased. So yes, I'm first cook was a real time cook, and I'm very pleased with it. It's a very nice oven, very easy to use. A good oven for if you're starting off using um, cooking with a pizza oven outside. It's very good. Mm -hmm.